Shut up. Greetings! Today we're gonna talk about semicolons. Back to the semicolons. What could be more exciting? <laughs> so last time we looked at semicolons, we looked at how it could be like a super comma. You break up a sentence like, for dinner do you want meat and potatoes? Semicolon. Pasta and broccoli, semicolon. Pizza and fries, semicolon. Or a good old plate of mashed potatoes and gravy. You get the point. But today, we're gonna look at how a semicolon has many different uses, and it can actually combine two sentences if they relate to each other. So you could Look at these two sentences here. The mountains are beautiful. I enjoy hiking in them. They could be separate. You also could take a conjunction, like we learned in the other lesson, and combine them. So, the mountains are beautiful. So, I enjoy hiking in them. That would be one option. But we also can combine them with a semicolon. So we recognize that this sentence relates to this one, and instead of having a bunch of chopped up little sentences, you can have a smoother, better flowing sentence with a semicolon. The mountains are beautiful. I enjoy hiking in them. Kind of just helps the sentence flow a little better. Let's look at another couple of related sentences. The big dog scared the little boy. He ran the other way. Now, we can combine it. The big dog scared the little boy, semicolon. He ran the other way. What do you notice about this letter here, the H? First here. In the first one, they're two complete separate sentences, right? So of course this needs a capital letter. But in the second one, it's a smooth, complete sentence with a semicolon in the middle, so you don't need to capitalize the H. Most exciting work of the year. I know you just can't wait to get your hands on it. It's in the language folder called semicolons. Check it out.